For 14 years, Ted Farrell from Haskell's has served as Twin Cities Live's wine guy. He's the one and only. If he goes, we're not having wine He's anymore. He's the true <laughs> expert. So he knows a lot about vino, and we mean a lot, okay? <laughs> we also learned he's a great cook, too. So we invited him over today for an appetizer to serve your holiday guests and also wine pairings for your Thanksgiving Hello feast. Guys. Hello, guys. Hello, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. How, How are wonderful you? to see you. I am great now that we're on air because yeah. it was a, just a, a sanity about five minutes this, ago. It's a madhouse. Awesome. You guys, if you think about how Thanksgiving is at your house mm -hmm. right before the meal gets served, that's exactly what's happening in our studio. Everyone's sweating. It's as Everything's if the whole, all, all the family and friends just showed up at the same time. <laughs> right. And I'm like at the center of the problem. Where this guy was like, I was the sand and everybody's oil back there. It's like, what's going on? I'm not cooking on my home pitch. I don't know what's going on. This is not good. Oh, but, you, but you're good. Now, they, now they that gave we're me here. this yeah. bazooka thing. Should we and, do this first? Yeah, then like, may, maybe we just need to get right into this. Oh, Cheers. Right. There we go. Cheers. That's, yeah. Yes. Start that, then we calm down. Mm. Mm. What is this? What are we drinking right now? We're drinking a white Bordeaux. And it comes from the area of Bordeaux called the Entre de Mer, and that means between the two seas. There's the Dardone River and the Gironde River, and it's a small peninsula that juts in there. Most of the uh, soil there is all gravel, and they grow Semio and Sauvignon Blanc, and this is a nice blend of that. You get a little bit of that tartness, a little bit of that Sauvignon Blanc, but the Semio gives it a nice round finish to it. Exactly. There's like a little bit of a buttery nature to it, which lends itself really well to the Thanksgiving holiday. And this doesn't get a lot of oak exposure at all, and whatever oak exposure it gets, is usually, you know, probably a two or three year old barrel anyway, so it doesn't get that big umphy kind of thing. It's very light, it's very elegant. Great way to open up a bottle of wine, have people when they all show up early. You don't know what to do. Well, just get them all into their cups, and life's pretty good. Our yeah. tasting table is doing the same. Begin. You guys can cheers over there, too. Okay, so I love that the wine has a sea reference, and then you're making a seafood appetizer. Exactly. You know, Bordeaux is so close to the ocean. They are famous for the Arquichon oysters, but they also do a lot of shrimp. So, you know, we had a, in the Haskell's Texas kitchen, we were kind of throwing some ideas around, and I do make a wicked duck burger that you can shrink down. But and we kind of thought how many viewers are actually going to have duck on hand to do that. So we Not just many. brought it down and we're doing a simple shrimp fritter to start oh. the meal out for everybody when they come in. So it's a, such an easy recipe. Again, I forget when we kind of invented this at the Farrell household one night of just screwing around with a Cuisinart. So. <laughs> oh, a, well, a night of many glasses of wine. Oh You're like, hey, let's you just know, make something. What a great night. A lot of wine and yeah. a Cuisinart. Yeah, what know, else I'm are you going to do? no one turned up at the ER. Oh my gosh. Okay, what are you doing okay, in this? So first of all, you get your shrimp. Okay. And uh, you know, you don't even have to get like the super big ones. You can go get like the 50 ones. You don't have to spend a lot on the shrimp. Yeah. Now one quick step if you guys want it, and then you season it a little bit. So you okay. can use Old Bay. You can use a uh, little Cajun seasoning. What I did actually on the first batch, which kind of got wrecked in the test kitchen, <laughs> uh, I used my old famous Cajun sparkle where that's the leftover from Popeye's fried chicken and that goes a long <laughs> way. I'm telling you. Right. So a little I'm shout out. If you wreck the turkey, go to Popeye's. A little shout out to yeah, those guys. I saw, I saw though on the marquee in Las Vegas, the Cajun Sparkle. I, I don't. I never went in to go see him. I'm sure you didn't. I didn't. That, I right, didn't that's pay a for whole that. different oh, cage that's and sparkle not what we're Okay, that's what that, we're talking about. So what you do? You just throw that in your uh, your Cuisinart, and you just grind it into a paste. Wow. So you don't want a lot of big chunks. You can if you like it that way, but you just get it into a paste. Make it easy peasy, really nice, very simple. Okay. And that's about it. And then so, you've got some vegetables here, too. So what you do is then you take this out, yep. and then you put it in a bowl, and then you fold in your red peppers and green peppers, this is like we have right there. Boy, I got to tell you, there, Ted, there's nothing more appetizing than <laughs> just a seafood mash, huh? Well, it is a Woo! seafood toothpaste. <laughs> seafood. Boy, I can't wait to get some of See, that. Your, your vision is limited, my friend. So, so basically, limited. have this done before people come over. Well, actually, you could do this a couple hours, even a few days before. Just have yeah. it all rolled up and ready to go. And then what you do is you just... Uh, Here, get you know, after it. I'll get out okay. of the way. Okay. I'm, I'm afraid of now, this hot Now, this oil. is a new device. We didn't have this a little way to go. Oh, the but you just dropped go. it in there and you don't need the hook on these as well. There, notice there's no breading. You don't need an egg binder. No. That, that shrimp in there does all the binding that you need. Oh my gosh. And then you'll see a little expansion on there. They almost double in size when you do it like oh, so this. So you're doing like a little smash so to it. A little huh? smash. You know, you can do them bigger too if you wanted to. Sure. To do like a uh, SpongeBob SquarePants shrimp burger or whatever <laughs> they little guy did. You know what's great about 
this though, no breading. That means it's a little bit lighter. It's going to be like a good little protein mm -hmm. snack, but it's not going to weigh you down when you're going for the rest of the meal. All right, the tasting table already has their shrimp fritters. Joy, let's head to you first. What are you thinking of these little bites? We already had our shrimp. Yeah, <laughs> they are mm -hmm. long gone. Mm -hmm. um, they're so crispy and juicy and kind of like that good little bounce of when you bite into really good shrimp. Like it retains that texture. They're really fun. And it's, I think it's a really unexpected thing for Thanksgiving. I kind of love that. Yeah. I do too. I think, you know, and I love the fact that, again, I agree with you, Elizabeth, that we need to not overeat on the front end of things. We get so excited. Yeah. You're getting drinky and mm -hmm. you want just a little bit of something light. That mm -hmm. shrimp, little crisp, that was yeah. perfect for me. Yeah, I think the texture is a lot of fun. And I agree. It was a lot of flavor in one little bite. So you don't feel like you need a whole bunch more because you're so satisfied. Super Ted. So good. Yeah. Well yeah. done, Ted. Well done. Super easy to eat. Delicious. I, I do love that it's so light. There's not a lot of breading. When I saw it first, I'm like, oh, how does he bread this? It's not breaded at all. No, no breaded, and the three we just did are already done. And they're done. That's they're how done. fast they are. That's, That's how awesome. simple it is. So it makes your Thanksgiving that much easier. Yeah. All right. So we started off with wine. Let's end with wine. You have a you have a good choice for your actual pairing with the turkey. At Haskell's for. 50 years, we recommend Vouvray with your Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. It is a terrific wine. It's a Chenin Blanc that comes from the Loire Valley. The Loire Valley is kind of in mid-continent on the west coast. Beautiful river that fades all the way into the ocean, and they just make wonderful white, uh, white wines. This one, this particular Chenin Blanc, it's sweeter on your palate. I mean, some people are like, oh, I don't like sweet, but right. it's very sweet, but then it finishes off nice and bone dry, where it marries so well with turkey, because turkey, no matter how you cook it, has a little bit of sweetness to it, but then it finishes off dry. We have multiple types of uh, Vouvray to choose from. My favorite is Vouvray Voltaire. This is one that we've literally carried for uh, 47 years. Oh, what a great Our tradition. old friend Bill Bolter sends, always gives us a call in mid-June about, hey, you got to get your Vouvray Voltaire in here, and so we bring it in, and it's a wonderful wine to marry with that turkey. Pick up a bottle or two and bring it to wherever you're going to Thanksgiving. Ted, happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. We love you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank uh, you. What a wonderful, wonderful dish. You can get the ingredient list for Ted's shrimp fritters at TwinCitiesLive.com slash recipes. You see how well he was saying all those French words? That's what I was trying to sound like when Trevet. I say Treve. Is it by the Treve River or the Treve Lake? I don't know but it sounds really good. You can also stock up on beverages for your Thanksgiving guests at one of Haskell's 11 Minnesota locations, including that super cellar in Maple Grove. You can also order online and do curbside pickup. Twin Cities Live's Thanksgiving cooking special continues. Raise a glass right after this. Happy Thanksgiving from TCL and Nordicware. The Nordicware factory store is the perfect destination for all of your holiday cooking needs. From prep work to the platter, Nordicware has everything you need for your holiday dinners. Nordicware, the original.